Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. Behold, Sheriff Truett, from the lowly street rat emerges the loyal worker, that which I call the servant. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you? The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Garrus, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no, it's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precautions. The Truett name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust thee in me, for tis the Builder himself who guides me, and the Baron need never know. Yes. I'm glad your builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, uh, tis impossible to hide anything from you, good sheriff. I will give the full explanation then in the form of a demonstration. <laughs> The visual in this instance would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate, but I must ask thee to step away from the masked serpent, that's right. And meanwhile, I will retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Come, come, gentle beggar, and stand thee just there, next to the masked man. All is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival, whilst I signal the servant. Dustly. My word! The mask emits a red vapor! Continue thy observations to it. But it consumes them! We are in peril! Fear me not, stout sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. They are gone! And what remains in their stead? Sand? No. Rust. Indeed, tis very much like rust and harmless once settled. Brother Fegan, I pray thee, do sweep up what is left of those two. Yes. A weapon, then! Quite fantastic and monstrous. Of course, you'll keep these servants you're making away from me and my men. Thou need not even ask. Then we are in agreement. You need subjects for your servant project, and I can supply them. 
Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes. Those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. They'll be rounded up for charges, invented, etc. Still, there's always risk. So I will give you 20, no more. For your part, you'll remember to keep our transactions absolutely secret. And of course, deliver my payment in advance, in full, tomorrow. I don't trust you, Karath, so you'll receive the subjects only after I confirm the payment. Well, our business here is finished. Yes. Very well, Trit. Now see, friends, with the builder's efficiency, I have completed two tasks with but one effort. Firstly, I did secure 20 subjects to be transformed into servants, as you heard. And secondly, I secured the loyalty of the wary Sheriff Tuart. Yes, his loyalty. <laughs> Tuart fears scandal. Yet his actions of late could bring him that or worse, if ever made public. Now, behold my rock cylinder machine. I've used it to capture the sheriff's very words, even as they moved through the air today. Hawking friends. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. With his voice thus preserved, Truett dare not betray me or he'll have the scandal he fears so much. Brother Fagan, thou wilt see to it that this wax cylinder machine gets safely to the bank on the morrow. You will find the safety deposit box key in the shed atop the Acolyte's quarters. Friends, we are adjourned. I'd like to get Return a copy of that key myself. Duty. Better come back here and replace this key when I'm done with it. <laughs> 